Hello friends. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Don McClear. I uh, do video production work and still photography here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, I recently just got back from a, uh, a mission trip to Tanzania, Africa, and I've had a lot of people asking me about the trip and how it went, and I've been having a difficult time putting it into words, and so I put together this short video to recap the experience and the impact that it had on me, and I hope you enjoy it. In January 2020, I spent 16 days in northern Tanzania with Hope Ministries. They're a nonprofit mission organization dedicated to improving health care in the region. The team of volunteers was led by Hope Ministries founder and president, Gail Strosheim. Gail started her nonprofit organization, Hope Ministries, in 2013, but she's been doing mission work in Tanzania for more than 12 years, including volunteering with other mission organizations before she founded Hope Ministries. Well, in 2005, I went in for a routine mammogram and I had breast cancer. So I had to have surgery and treatments, and so um, I prayed to God. I said, you know, God, if you let me live, I'm here to serve. So um, I've been cancer-free since. I think my husband uh, thought the uh, cancer had metastasized to my brain because I did quit my nice job, and I came home, and I've been doing missionary work ever since. Our volunteer team included doctors, nurses, and medical students. We also worked side by side with local Tanzanian healthcare providers, some social workers, spiritual leaders, and a great team of drivers and logistical assistants. Our most recent journey was Gail's 25th mission trip to Africa. She knows the people in Tanzania and their needs very, very well. Gail asked me to join the team to highlight the work done by Hope Ministries. Now that I'm back and recounting the two weeks that we were there, um, I can tell you that experiences like this are very, very hard to recap into words. You know, I've had lots of family and friends in the past week that I've been back asking me how the trip went and, and what the experience was like. And I've struggled to find the words to really explain the experience and how it touched me and how it affected me. Um, what, the last night that I was in Tanzania, Gail uh, and I sat and she was asking me how my, you know, my view of the last, the previous two weeks. And uh, we were talking and she gave me some really good advice. She said, you're going to have people asking you about the trip. And she said, you're going to have a hard time finding the words to explain it. She said her recommendation is to find one word that can help, you know, be a launching pad for all of the uh, experiences that you had. So for me, that, it was really easy. As, as we sat there and talked, I, uh, the, the word that I instantly came up with was perspective, uh, and this, this trip has given me a, a huge uh, change of perspective of what I thought and what I think. Overall, I'm so glad that I was able to be a part of something bigger than myself. This mission trip opened my eyes to a whole new perspective of what's important in life and what we most value. I witnessed that the smallest acts of kindness and giving can have such a huge impact. While one organization certainly cannot heal all of the needs in the world alone, I witnessed firsthand the major positive impact that even one person can have. But we must be aware and conscious and look beyond our own perspective. I hope that you will consider acts of caring and giving in your life. I promise, I promise you will not be disappointed. I learned a line in Swahili while I was there. And it says, Asante sana na mungu akubariki, which in Swahili means thank you very much and God bless you. While Gail does a great job of running her organization and does amazing things in the world, she cannot do it alone. If you'd like to help Hope Ministries' mission, please visit hopeministries.co.